Hi, welcome back to Slay Pilates. I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to be taking you through a workout on the reformer. We're going to start with two reds and one blue spring, two heavy and one medium, and we're also going to have a ball nearby for some abs that we're going to be doing. So once you have your spring set, go ahead and lie on down. We'll let the arms press gently into the mat. Bring the balls of the feet to the foot bar, heels together, toes apart. Find that neutral spine, and when you're ready, inhale to press the carriage out. Exhale as you refine that resistance back in, closing the carriage gently each time. Now I want you to think about your feet as we're moving here. The ball of your foot is on the foot bar, and I want you to have that weight evenly distributed across the ball of the foot. So my big toe isn't pressing in any harder than my pinky or vice versa. I'm really finding that central weight. So as I press out, I feel that nice long line, that vertical throughness. I can feel my bones stacking one on top of the other, I, even though I'm lying down here. And I just feel that beautiful length. Let's move here for three more. Two. Last one. Bring the carriage in halfway. Keep those heels pressing together. And now you're going to go into tiny pulses. I'm only moving the carriage an inch, maybe two inches here. I'm scissoring the inner thighs together. I'm keeping that even footing on the foot bar. So make sure again that you're not rolling out or in with your foot. And breathe. Three, two, one. Press your legs out long. Draw the carriage to a close. We'll separate the heels out. Move the foot up so that you're on the arch. Arms lengthen by the side. Inhale to press out. Exhale in. Again, checking in with your feet. This is kind of going to be the theme of today. I really want you to work on finding that vertical throughness. And if your foot isn't weighted correctly, you really can't find it. So you have to imagine as if you're standing now, not lying. Are you pressing on the outside of your foot? Are you falling inward on the arches. Try to find that nice, even stance. And once you have that, then you can focus in on that breath. Focus on pressing away, resisting in. Two more like this. Last one. Come in halfway. We're going to find that little pulse again. I'm really wrapping my foot around that foot bar. My toes are reaching over. My heels are reaching under. And I'm just going to breathe here. Three, two, one. Press the legs out long, draw the carriage to a close, move up onto the heels, finding an actively flexed foot. Inhale to press away, exhale in. You're still going to feel this work in your quads because we've gotten a little bit warm with the last two moves, but I want you to focus in on the muscles between the hamstring and the glutes. You can put your hands down there, make sure those are firing, you press out and resist in. Check in with your feet. How are your heels sitting on that foot bar? Make sure they're evenly weighted. As I stretch out long, I can truly feel the length from my heels out the crown of my head. My fingertips are reaching toward the foot bar. And I can feel that my spine is nice and long. Two more. 
last one. Press the carriage out, come in halfway, little pulses. Now's the time that you can really place your fingers right there below your booty and feel those muscles working. And breathe. Three, two, one, press the carriage out. Come on in. We're going to open the feet wide, coming to the edge of the foot bar. We're going to find a slight turnout and come up into a high heel. From here, inhale out and exhale in, maintaining that high heel as you move. So here it gets a little bit tricky because depending on what kind of foot bar you have, you may not be able to set your foot the way I am on this Allegro too. I have this nice curve, so I can press my ball of my foot evenly onto that curve. I'm wrapping both my big toe and then all the way out to my pinky toe around that bar. And so it's just a really nice kind of ergonomic position for me. Now, if you have a different kind of reformer, it may be a little bit harder to find this. So I'm gonna pull in for just a second. I'm gonna move my feet slightly in as if I'm on another reformer. And then I'm gonna begin pressing out and in. So here, I'm still able to body sense into those feet. My big toe's pressing in, all my toes are pressing in down to my pinky, and I'm in the center of that ball of the foot. As you press out, feel those inner thighs scissoring in toward each other. Two more. On this next one, press out. Come in halfway. We're going to go into those little pulses. Keep that heel high. And breathe. Doesn't take as long to find that burn now that we've become kind of familiar with it through the last few moves. Three, two, one, press out. Draw the carriage to a close. Let's bring the feet back to the center of the foot bar. I'm gonna stay on the ball of the foot and I'm gonna press the carriage out long. So we're gonna do our heel lower lifts. We're gonna start out slow. So on a three count, we're gonna go three, two, one, one, two, three. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Keep moving on that slow count. Really articulating through the foot and ankle. We're gonna do two more, lowering and lifting. Last one here, one, two, three. Now we're gonna change up the count. Lower one, two, lift one, two. So a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Breathing as you move here. Two more. Last one, and finally quick, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop, lift. Three, two, one, and then go ahead into running. Take it nice and slow to start. Allowing the heel to reach under that foot bar, feeling a beautiful stretch up the back of the calf. I want to make sure that right now this movement is big. It's exaggerated. You're feeling the stretch because in a moment we're going to pull it in and make it a little bit more controlled. One more each side. Now, I want you to bring the foot that would be dropped under the foot bar to a neutral foot. The other foot is still on that high heel. And then from here, we're going to switch. 
So it's much smaller. to high heels with both, and then slowly close that carriage in. Now before we move on, let's stretch the foot a little bit because it just worked. So go ahead and turn those toes under, press them against the foot bar, and then you can just gently press, lifting that front part of the foot, the front part of the ankle, up toward the ceiling. Feels lovely. Now let's keep the two reds and a blue and let's do a little single leg work. We're really gonna get into the legs and the butt today. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna bring my left leg up to tabletop. My right foot is gonna be on the foot bar on the ball of the foot. So from here, arms are gonna lengthen by the side. I'm gonna press out, straightening my left leg. From here, drop the heels, flexing that left foot. Lift the heel, pointing, and then coming back in and closing that leg back to tabletop. So we press out, lower flex, lift point, and back in. Out, flex, point, in, nice. Flex, point, in, two more. Flex, point, in, last one. Flex, point, in. Now we're gonna bring that right foot and bring the heel up onto the foot bar. I'm gonna flex my left leg and extend it straight up. I'm gonna press out, and we're just gonna go into a lower lift. So as we come in, we lower that left leg, we press out, we lift it. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on in. We're going to open up those legs for just a moment, stretch side to side, and then we're going to do one more thing on this side. So I'm going to slide that right foot either back down to the ball of the foot, or you can be on the high arch. I'm going to go high arch. Left leg is going to come back up to tabletop again, and we're going to get into this right glute. So I'm going to inhale as I press up into a bridge, pulling my left knee in toward my body. Exhale as I lower down, left leg comes back to tabletop. Inhale, press up, exhale, lower down, up and down. That's three, four here, five, six, let's do two more, seven, and eight. Go ahead and lower down. We're going to place the left foot down on the foot bar and just stretch into the glute for a moment. So bring that right ankle over the left knee. You can gently press that right leg away. Just make sure that you're pressing on your quad, not on your knee. You can even rock side to side a little bit if that feels good. And then we'll switch over to the other side. So take that right foot off. This time we'll start on the ball of the left foot, right leg floats up to tabletop. We're going to press out, extending the right leg up, lower, lift, and come in. <laughs> what are the chances? Sorry. It's like the only time I've ever had my phone down here while I'm recording. Okay, we're going to press out, lower, lift, and in. Out, lower, lift, and in. And in. Three more. Two. And last one here. And in, nice. Go ahead and move that left foot up to the heel. We're gonna flex the right foot and extend that leg straight up. We're gonna press out. Now as we draw and we'll lower. Out and lower. Last three. 
two, and one. Go ahead and place that foot down. We'll drop the knees out for just a moment before we get into our left glute. Bring either the ball or the high arch of that left foot onto the foot bar. Right leg comes to tabletop. We're going to inhale as we press up, pulling the right knee in toward the chest. And then lower back down on the exhale. Four. Four more. Four. And three. Two. Last one. Go ahead and come on down. Place the right foot down. We'll take that left ankle up and over the knee. You can gently press on your upper leg to open the, the left knee out more toward the side. And then when you're ready, go ahead and take that foot off. We're going to carefully sit ourselves up, grab onto your ball, and leave the springs where they're at, and then lie back down. Feet are going to come up onto the foot bar. You'll press your hips up toward the ceiling and place the ball under your sitting room. Kind of finagle it a little bit so you're balanced there. We're going to go into some abdominal work. So from here, options. Arms lengthen by your sides, press into the carriage, option one. For two, if you want a little bit more, bend at the elbows, fingertips go up to the ceiling. Three, you can keep the arms straight and let them hover just over the carriage. So that way, if you lose your balance, it's really quick to just drop your arms and help yourself out. And the last one is the most challenging, arms go straight up to the ceiling. So we're going to bring our legs straight up to the ceiling. My arms are going to go straight up. And from here, I'm just going to inhale as I lower my legs toward the foot bar. Exhale to lift them up. Moving nice and slow and controlled. By moving slow and controlled, I can really add these floating arms so that I can challenge my balance a little bit more. So my abdominals are turned on just a little bit more than they might be if my arms were pressing into the carriage. Now you can take those legs down as low as you're able to in your body as long as you don't feel any arching in the lower back. If you do, make the movement a little smaller. You really shouldn't with this ball under your sacrum. You have to be really kind of moving dramatically to find that arch, I think, here. Now we're going to bend the knees, bring them in, and we're just going to press the left leg out, pull it in and right, and in, left out, in, right, and in. If you have your arms floating up, you're going to feel a little bit more challenged here because now we're not moving those legs at the same time. So I can really feel the work in my core shifting side to side as I move here. Still slow and controlled. I have my knees in slightly closer than tabletop and toward my chest. One more left and then right. Just make sure you even yourself out. Nice. Now let's extend the legs up and we'll go into a scissor kick. So I'm just going to drop my left leg, right leg stays up toward the ceiling and then switch. And again, you're going to start to feel that challenge a little bit more if you have arms floating. turning on my inner thighs here to ensure that my legs are moving along that midline. They're not falling out. They're not knocking into each other in the center. Do one more each side. And now we're going to add on a little bit more of a challenge. So legs are going to go up. We're going to start in that scissor position, drop your left leg, and now slow and controlled legs circle out and around. Think windmill. And then we'll draw that right leg back up. This time, we'll drop the right leg first, 
Circle those legs out and around. Lift that left leg back up. Keep moving here. Really slow and controlled. I want you to keep your hips and your sacrum as still as humanly possible on that ball as you circle out and around. Let's do one more on each side. We're going to drop that left, circle out and around, draw the right back up, and then last one, drop my right, circle out and around, and bring that left foot back up. For this next one, I'm going to lower the feet out about 45 degrees. From here, I want you to think of that little, um, the thing they use before they start filming in a movie. You know, scene one, go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the right leg, dropping the left, left taps the foot bar, bring them back together, and then switch. The other thing this kind of reminds me of is like an alligator's jaw chomping down. Maybe starting to feel your hip flexors a little bit. We've been working them as we have these legs out and long away from the body. We're almost done here. Really use your breath. Last one here. Go ahead and lower your feet and your arms if you had them up. And now I'm just going to press my hips up a little bit. Roll that ball up slightly so it's in your lower back. And we'll just get a nice stretch here so you can come down. Let that sacrum fall forward. We still have the support of that ball. Now we can stretch a little bit. Bring your arms down by your side and now curl that pelvis toward the belly button. That's going to be a lovely stretch up either side of the spine. And then lower that sacrum back down, letting it hang heavy toward the carriage. And curl in. And release. Let's just do a couple more here. And release. Go ahead and come back to neutral. Then press up into that bridge. Take the ball out. We're going to sit up for just a moment. Place the ball to the side. And now we're going to go into some supine arms. So let's drop down to one red and one yellow today. One heavy spring and one light spring. I want to focus on curling up a little bit in the in the supine arm series, so I don't want the weight to be too heavy. So I'm gonna lie back down, shoulders come up against the shoulder rest, grab onto your short straps, and then we'll bring the legs up to tabletop. From here, press gently into those straps so that your wrists are tracking over your shoulders. Palms are facing forward toward the foot bar, and we're just going to inhale as we slowly press the arms down to the carriage. Exhale to float them up, stopping where those wrists come into alignment above the shoulder. We're going to do five here. This is number three, four, five. Now we're going to go into the next part of the series. So still doing lower lifts. I'm going to curl my chin to my chest as my arms begin to lower, curling myself up, looking in toward my inner thighs, reaching my hands into my straps, and then slowly rolling myself back down, all the way down till my head is heavy. And then again, curling up, reaching, and lowering down. Notice we're taking this nice and slow, and that's because I don't want to stress the neck. I want to make sure that we roll all the way down before curling chin to chest and pressing those straps down to help curl yourself up. This is our last one here. And lower back down. Now we're going to kick this up one more notch. So you're going to press those hands down, curl head, neck, and shoulders, extend the legs out. We're in our 100 position. Now we're going to open the legs, take our hands in between, reach toward that foot bar, and then take the hands out, closing the legs together. 
And again, opening and reaching and out. Open and reach and back to my 100 position. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders curled up, looking in towards those inner thighs. Two more. Last one. And then go ahead and rest back for a moment. Let those arms fall out to a T. We're headed there next. Windshield wiper your knees left to right for just a moment. Okay, legs come center, up to tabletop. I'm going to press gently into those straps. So again, I'm aligning my wrists with my shoulders. And from here, we're going to pull the palms in toward the hips and then float those arms out, slow and controlled. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going to add that curl up. So as I begin to pull my arms in, curl to the chest, looking in toward those inner thighs, and then slowly releasing back out. And again. Three, four, we have one more here, five, lower down. Now keep those arms out of that T. We're going to keep the big toes pressed together, but we're going to open up those knees. So when I do that, my feet are going to kind of come to a dime. The heels and toes are together, and then I'm opening up. From here, float the arms back up to the ceiling. We're going to curl head, neck, and shoulders as I press my arms down. Right arm comes outside the right leg. The left arm comes in between the legs. And from here, I'm going to pulse. Two, three, four, five. Lay back, arms lift up. Switch arms. Curl head, neck, and shoulders. Left arm is outside the left leg. Right arm in between. Pulse. Two, three, four, five. And back down. And back to the right. Pulse. Two, three, four, five. And down. And left. Two, three, four, five. One more on each side. Curl up right. Two, three, four, five. Down. And to the left. Two, three, four, five. Go ahead and lie back. Feet come down to the foot bar. Let those arms fall out to that T once more. And windshield wiper the knees side to side. Oh, I got a little adjustment there. Love that. All right, last move here. We're going to go into our tricep. So press the arms up. Press gently into those straps to line up shoulder and wrist. Feet come up into our tabletop position, and we're gonna press those arms down. You have the option here of pressing the upper arm firmly into the carriage or letting it float an inch or two above. From here, we're just gonna inhale, fingertips float to the ceiling. Exhale, press the arms straight. Slow and control, number three here. Four. Five. Now we're going to add on that curl. So go ahead and bend at the elbows. Fingertips go up to the ceiling. We're going to curl head, neck, and shoulders as we press the arms out straight. And then we're going to lie back as the fingertips float up to the ceiling. Press out. And come back. Press out. And back. Two more. You're nice and slow and controlled. You really shouldn't be feeling much stress at all in your neck. Beautiful. And then from here, let's take this into coordination. So I'm going to have my arms firmly pressing into that carriage for this one. Fingertips are floating up. I'm going to inhale, pressing the arms and legs out, curling head, neck, and shoulders up. Hold. I'm going to open, close, open, close. Now pull the knees in and then bend the arms. Press out, open, close, open, close. Knees pull in, fingertips float to the ceiling. Out, 
open, close, open, close. Knees in, fingertips up, two more. Extend out, open, close, open, close. In, in, last one. Open, close, open, close. Knees in, fingertips up and rest back. Go ahead and hang up your straps and we can just stretch here for a moment. I like to lift my arms and lower, kind of in a like snow angel position, opening up across the chest and you'll feel that stretch into your biceps as well. My palms are facing up to the ceiling and then I'm just gonna let my knees fall out, opening up into that diamond shape and you can rock side to side just a little bit. Draw those legs together. Let's go ahead and sit on up. Okay, we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Let's put on one blue spring or medium spring and take off the heavy and the light. I'm gonna throw my ball to the side here so it's not in my way. And I wanna go into a little bit of lunging. So I'm gonna come over onto the left side of my carriage if I'm facing the back of the reformer. From here, I'm gonna grab onto that strap that's closest to me and I'm gonna take it into my left hand. Now I want to step back, the, I want the, the opposite leg to be stepped forward, so I'm going to step back my left leg. Now I want to make sure that the carriage is pulled away from the stalker slightly here. So once I have my right leg forward, left arm extended, I'm going to make sure that, that left leg is back far enough that when I come down into a lunge, I have a 90 degree angle with my right leg and a 90 degree angle with my left. Once I've found that position, I'm going to pull that left arm in toward, toward my body, and I really want to press the upper arm in. I'm just going to hold it there. And we're just going to stand and lower. Stand and lower. The weight is in my right heel, and I'm getting back into that glute. So like I said, we're going to go a little bit heavy on legs and glutes today. We're going to do two more here. One more, and now we're gonna lower down. Keep that arm in, come on up, and we're gonna step the feet in. Step back, lower down. Come in and tap. We're moving that left leg. We're keeping the weight in that right heel. So now we're gonna feel a little bit more work into those muscles that we were feeling before, where the hamstrings and the glute meet. Two more. And last one. Step back. Find that 90-90 lunge. Lengthen the arm out, and now we're gonna pull with the arm. Two, three, four, last one here, five. Pull that arm in, stand up tall for a moment. Come back down, and again, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the arm in, stand tall. It's our last set here. Back down. One, two, three, four, five. Let that arm lengthen out, stand up. Step that left foot forward. Woo. Go ahead and shake it out a little bit. You can walk back and forth for just a moment. Before we hit the other side, I want to do a little arm work. So we're going to come onto our carriage facing the back of the reformer. I'm going to bring my knees right up against the shoulder rest, and I'm going to grab on to my short straps. Now you have options here. You can either do this kneeling like I am, or if this doesn't feel comfortable and it feels a little iffy once we start moving, you can always sit back onto your heels, either with a flat foot or up on the toes. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bring the upper arm in close to my body, and then I'm gonna open my arms out just slightly. So it's almost like a W here between my arms, my torso, and then my other arm. Stand up nice and straight, I'm squeezing into my glutes, and I'm gonna inhale, I press my arms out and up, exhale to draw back in. Inhale out and up, exhale in. So here, I really want you to find that extra resistance. We're not moving with a really heavy weight here. 
So I'm going to move nice and slow and controlled. I'm going to make sure my shoulders are not shrugging up into my ears. I'm really going to turn on my lats as I slowly resist drawing my elbows back into my arms or into my side. Now let's add on as you bring the arms in this time, pause, slowly bring your fingertips together in the center of your body, tap, open up, press, come back in. Think Dr. Evil here, we're plotting and press back in, press and in, let's do two more, press, and in, this is the last one. And in, nice. Now, take your hands out of the short straps. I want you to move up and hold on to that little piece of fabric right above the loops. From here, actually, let's cross. Cross your right strap over your left and then grab onto that little rectangle of fabric. From here, palms are gonna face down and holding on with my fist. I'm gonna tuck my toes and we're just gonna pull back, bring those shoulder blades together on my back, elbows go high, extend the arms forward. Now I'm gonna twist toward the right, opening the arms in a diagonal. Now we're only gonna do this right side because that's where we have the strap set up right now. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Again, squeezing into those glutes, squeezing into those abdominals to help stabilize the body as we're moving here. And then thinking about really pulling those elbows back and up. Imagine as if you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Last one here. Come back center and now we'll take the left strap over the right and do the other side. Making a fist on those rectangles, palms facing down, Pull the elbows back and up, release forward, twist to the left. Make sure as you're twisting, your gaze follows. This is three. Last thing we're going to do here, uncross those straps or those ropes. Keep a hold of the same area. Arms are going to lengthen out in front of you. And we're just going to go into a chest expansion, pressing those arms back and releasing them forward. Now we're holding down a little bit lower on the ropes than we normally would. Normally we'd be up above our knot or our clip. So you're going to have a little bit more movement here. Since we're on a lighter spring, I don't mind that. It feels good. So we'll press back beyond the hips. As you're pressing back, you should feel those triceps starting to burn. Make sure those shoulders are staying away from the ears. You're finding that vertical throughness. So from your knees, up out the crown of your head, feel that length. The next time you pull back, hold. Look right, look center. Look left, look center and release. Pull back and hold, this time look left, look center, look right, look center and release. Go ahead and sit back, you can hang up those straps and we'll come up off the carriage over to the right side now if you're facing the back. We're still on that blue spring, we're gonna grab onto our short strap, there we go, with our right hand this time and then we're gonna step the opposite leg back. So I am stepping, there we go, my right leg back. So I left foot forward, right arm extended. So once I'm there, I'm gonna pull this away from the stopper, slightly position myself, separate those legs, and find my 90-90. Once I feel comfortable there, pull that top of the arm into the body, hold it there, and we'll lift and lower. Up and down. Weight is in the left heel this time. Nice 
and tall through my spine. Two more here. Now on this next one, as we come up, we're going to step that right toe in and tap. Then come back in and tap and back. Starting to feel that burn in my glute. Two more. Last one. Hit that 99. You hold it. And now we're going to pull. Two, three, four, five. Hold it in. Stand. Lower back down. Five more. One, two, three. Four, five, pull and hold, stand. Last set, lower down in. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up, let that arm lengthen out. Step the feet together, hang up that strap. Walk back and forth just a couple times. And then I'm gonna walk around to the other side just so you can see. And I'm just going to sit down for a moment on the edge of my carriage. And let's just do a quick figure four since we just work those glutes so much. Bring your right ankle onto your left knee or the other way around. Hinge forward slightly. You can use the forearm to press that leg open, avoiding the knee, pressing into the quad. And then come on up. Let's switch sides. Oh. Oh my goodness, this side is much tighter. And then come on up. Let's set up for feet and straps. So I'm going to place one bread on with my glue. So I have one heavy and one medium. And then go ahead and lie back. We'll grab onto the long straps. Pull them forward. Place your feet in and extend your legs up to the ceiling. Find that neutral spine. Arms are pressing down to the carriage on either side of you. Inhale the length of the legs away. Exhale to lift. I have my toes pointed. I'm pressing my legs actively together. So my feet are pressing together. I'm scissoring those inner thighs, pressing the inside of my knees together. Keeping my pelvis nice and stable so it's not rocking forward and back. The next time your legs lower out to 45 degrees, pause. Bring heels together, toes apart, flex the feet, and we'll go into frogs, pulling the knees in toward the chest and pressing out. Now I want you to think a little bit about your frog here. Let's keep those knees tracking with the width of the shoulders. So if you have that slice of pie open really big, close it in a little bit, a little bit more controlled, and you'll feel almost immediately that you can feel those inner thighs lighting up again. Heels are pressing together and we're actively scissoring them in toward each other Hold those knees in just a little bit more narrow. Two more. Last one. Cross the legs out. Bring the feet back to parallel. We're going to take the feet up to the ceiling and we're going to do circles, but I want to start with controlled circles. So I want you to circle out, around, and back up, and just imagine drawing little circles on the ceiling. Maybe not little, they're about the size of like a small car's tire. We're keeping it nice and controlled. Again, you're probably feeling your inner thighs. Two more like this. And now go ahead, same direction, open it out wider. 
Getting that glorious stretch into the inner thigh. Check in and make sure that pelvis is staying nice and still. If it's not, pull the reins a little bit and make the circles a little smaller. Control the movement. Two more. And last one. We meet with our feet up at the ceiling. So we're going to reverse circles. Again, starting small. So think car tires. Drawing those circles against the ceiling. Two more. And now go ahead and make them bigger. Two more. Last one. Go ahead and bend your knees in towards your chest. Give a gentle pull. Open your knees up wider than your waist or your chest. And then give a gentle pull, pulling those knees down towards your armpits. So kind of think like happy baby if we were doing yoga. Then you can even rock from side to side here. Now bring those legs back together. Hold on to your rope. Straighten those legs. And now it's okay if you let that sacrum lift up off the carriage a little bit. And you can just move between those two for a moment. Bending the knees in, opening them out wider than the body, pulling them in towards your armpits. And then pulling the legs together, holding the ropes, and straightening those legs straight up to the ceiling. And go ahead and bend your knees in towards your chest. Take the straps off, hang them up. Carefully sit yourself on up. Thank you guys for joining me today. That was a lot of fun. More videos to come. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.